Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about canned foods that you can buy in your local store that have the longest shelf life for your storage. If you've been around my videos for a while or you've been involved in the uh, survival and preparedness world for a while, you probably think these are the things, the first things that come to your mind that you think of when you think of survival food. You think of freeze-dried stuff and MREs. But when you're just starting out in survival um, and keeping a pantry and keeping yourself a little prepped, you may not have enough money to do that. You know, you may not want to go out and spend, you know, $30 a can for canned chicken or however much it costs or 60 bucks a case or 80 bucks a case for MREs. And you're also limited with these items because you can only eat so many of these after a while and they're kind of stop you up and are kind of nasty and you need water for these so yeah these will last a good long time and by the way a lot of people say MREs have a shelf life of five years um, I've eaten them eight and nine years past that they're still perfectly fine unless they smell bad and you know the textures off usually they're fine so what I'm gonna offer you today is canned foods that you can buy right at your local store you can run right out right now 60 70 bucks 50 bucks whatever and start your pantry with. And they're also canned goods that last a really good long time. So let's move these out of the way here. Okay. Now, first thing I'm going to talk about is food safety. And we'll bring in some of the stuff that I found that lasts a long time here. Generally, um, cans should be stored in stable temperatures. You don't want to go too hot. You don't want to go too cold. As long as you don't freeze it, cooler temperatures are better. Um, I keep these in my storeroom. I've shown you some pictures of that storeroom um, in the past. You know, it's, and it's always air conditioned in there and it's always heated in there when it's freezing cold out. So it always stays a pretty stable 68 to 72 degrees. Um, Non-acidic canned foods retain their shelf life longest. If you're going to store tomato sauce and if you're going to store canned fruit, rotate that stuff often and keep an eye on it. Put it somewhere at the low bottom of your pantry where if it does pop open and spill, it won't ruin anything else, okay? I keep all of my tomato sauce and canned fruit at the bottom level, and I rotate it out, try to rotate it out every six months to eight months. Um, I haven't had any of it go bad yet, but because of the acidic nature of what's inside the uh, foods, it'll eat through the can, it'll eat through that little plastic protective inner lining in cans. So you gotta rotate those stuff more often. If your cans are bloated, expanded, or compromised, toss them. I'm going to give you an example here. See how that can sucked in a little bit? It's kind of convex in there. That's fine. If that can is popped up, um, if the bottom is popped up, if you notice they start to sit like, like this, you know, sideways on each other, something's wrong. Throw that can out. Don't even bother opening it. Just toss it out. Uh, if you open up your can and it smells bad, toss it. You don't want that, <laughs> okay? I'm um, just giving you some basic food safety tips so people can't say, hey, you know, you told me this was safe to eat and I ate it and I got sick. Um, also, canned food, as a general rule, is stored at its peak, and it's usually packed very close to the source. So most of the time, you're getting extremely good stuff packed fresh. Vitamin levels can retain, um, can remain stable over a long period of time in the food, and most of that's because they keep the juices inside the food and inside the can, which keeps the vitamin levels pretty stable over its shelf life. Now, we mentioned about the expensive items and the bigger items. Um, I'm really going for new preppers on this video and people that maybe are new to storing food. So we're going to show you some things that um, I've eaten over long periods of time that I found really don't go bad. The first one is what you expected, probably. Spam. <laughs> I have eaten spam. Now, let me just say for, to start off with, I've been doing this since 19, uh, 1998. Um, I started out in 98 kind of very casually prepping. You buy a few extra food here and there, a few extra cans of food here and there every time I go shopping, and I ended up developing a pretty big pantry. So that's how long I've been doing it. That's why I say I've eaten some of this stuff 10 years past its best buy date and it's fine. I have never had a can of Span go bad. Now, that said, I have heard people say that some of them have gone bad. Generally, if Spam goes bad, your can gets compromised or broken in some way, or it wasn't packaged right. Um, even on their website, they joke about it. You know, I always tell people spam has a half-life, not a shelf-life. <laughs> so spam is pretty good. Along that line, so is canned ham. 
When I moved from California to Nevada in 2003, I had a can of canned ham that had fallen um, in the back of my storage. And I had bought that a long time ago. It was, I probably bought it in 96 when, we, when I moved to California. And um, paid no attention to it, and I just tossed it into my store, you know, my storeroom, my store pile, my stockpile. And I opened it up when I got here, figuring this is going to be nasty. Opened it up, and it was just as good as the day I bought it. So I've eaten this stuff way past its best buy date. As long, again, as long as the can is intact, nice and, you know, you got a little bit of a convex, you know, nothing bulging, you're good to go. All right, next up, Vienna sausages. Now, I have a little caveat with Vienna sausages. The can is very thin, okay? I had an entire pack of these go bad because, if you notice, I really wish they'd go back to the days where we had the can openers. These little seals here, along that line there, it broke somewhere and air got into it and it killed an entire pack of them. That said, the pack cost me $1.70. <laughs> they're very cheap and they're, um, they're really good. They're kind of like hot dogs. They're like hot dogs meet spam. But if you cook them well enough, they're pretty good. They're not, you know, they're not bad. But you got to watch them because of the canning, not because of the food. Okay, next up, good old canned chicken. Again, this is another one of these products. Let me get it in the camera there. This is another one of these products that I have um, purchased and never had a bad one. And again, it's probably because the seal's a lot better on these. They're actually a sealed piece of... Uh, see, used by April 11, 2015. I pulled this out of my pantry. I put stuff in my pantry when I rotated out of my storeroom. So, I mean, that's still... Guarantee you I'd open that up and still be able to eat it. Perfectly good. Um, quickly, let me just mention about best buy dates. That is something that the manufacturer puts on there. I suspect probably to get you to buy more, but also because they have to. They put it on for a year later, you know. So if I bought this in 2014, they say Best Buy 2015. It could be 2017. I could be eating this. It could still be fine. It's not an expiration date. All right. Next up, tuna. Tuna in vegetable oil or tuna in water? Both stay good for a good long time. Um, this actually has a Best Buy date of 18, 129 18. This was rotated out of my storeroom when I replaced it. Um, we have a local store here, Smith's, that does a case sale every once in a while. So you go in there, you buy a case food, and there you go. So I rotate that out. Um, the thing about canned chicken, see this here? I love this stuff, it's really good. But you'll notice it's in buffalo style sauce, and where do we go with that? We go into the acidic food range of things. So it's something you gotta watch. These are in a separate area, and I rotate them out more often. Um, on that note, because a lot of this stuff comes from Walmart, because that's pretty much all we have out here, if you find these, beef meatballs in, in broth, these are really good. At least I think they are. You may think they're nasty. And I, I suspect they'll last a good long time. All right. Moving on. Instant oatmeal. I have never had a nasty thing of instant oatmeal. I've eaten stuff that's 10 years old. It's still perfectly good. Um, as long as nothing gets inside of it, never had a problem with it. And the old staple, of course, rice. Now, this is a representation, of course. I don't store my rice like this. Um, rice packed in its an original bag or packed in um, a Mylar bag with an oxygen absorber will outlast you. I mean, seriously. It's very hard for rice to go bad unless bugs get in it. And um, some people will freeze their rice when they get it to kill any bugs that might be in it. But um, generally, I just toss it in with an oxygen absorber into a Mylar bag, pack it in a five-gallon bucket, and I'm good to go. Excuse me one second. I have to have a sip of water there. All right. Everyone says, and everyone knows, honey. Honey will outlast you. <laughs> Honey's good for forever. I kind of find it funny that they put a Best Buy date... 2015, 7, 26, 15. Um, seriously, honey has been recovered from, God, ancient places and still been edible. It's still good. And lastly, instant coffee. Now, some of you may hate instant coffee, but let me tell you something. When you need some caffeine and you're out of everything else, this stuff works. I don't really hate it. Um, we kind of like our coffee, but... Uh, I don't really hate it, but it's not my preference. But if I have nothing else, it's good. 
if you can find coffee in the steel number 10 cans, kind of like, excuse my arm there, kind of like these here, where they're actually sealed and not that peel off stuff they use, those will last you a good long time too. And that's just regular coffee. But instant coffee, I have never had instant coffee go bad. So, that's a quick overview of some of the things you can buy. It's rather inexpensive stuff. Um, this stuff doesn't cost a fortune. You know, you can budget in 20, 30 bucks a week, 10 bucks a week. Buy some of this stuff. I always suggest that people don't buy um, stuff in dollar stores or like secondhand stores as far as canned food goes because you don't know where its origin is. You don't know where it's been. So I tell people, if you're going to buy it for storage, just to be on the safe side, buy it in a regular store. Buy it in a grocery store. That's probably where you're going to get the freshest stuff. It's not already expired when you're buying it. Anyway, that's the video for today. Let me know in the comments if you guys have run into any kind of um, food you found that lasts forever. I'm sure I missed a few things. This is just off the top of my head, kind of. So that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And just so everybody knows, I'm going to be kind of busy the next few weeks with Christmas coming up. If you don't see a video from me, I'm around. <laughs> just kind of busy with the holidays. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys soon.